Hello and welcome back to the second part of my tutorial. We're going to continue for making this digital art poster. Okay, for the next part, we're going to add the fire elements. Simply use any stock image of fire. I will use this one. You can find this stock in the download link it's from my own photograph and okay by the way let's uh, recolor this fire by using gradient map wow First, to reset to this black and white and then simply recolor this fire by using I mean the changing this white into blue Okay, and then drag this to the middle. I want to create a little bit highlight color. Okay, I think it's great. Now we need to merge these two layer, and we you press Shift on this background. So we select two layer, and then right click, choose. Just merge layer. You cannot see that. Okay. And then we need to move this layer, this fire to here. Okay, great. Now we need to arrange the position. But for that, let's change it into linear dodge. And rename the layer into fire. I would like to place it right behind the boy. And then now you need to rearrange the position. Okay, maybe here I would like the fire to surround this, uh, the back of this kid. And then we need to erase some part that we don't need, some part of the fire that we don't need. By simply using eraser, okay, choose a soft one. I okay, simply erase that. Alright, I think it looks nice now. And now we're going to transform and modify or adjust the the form of this uh, the shape of this fire. Oh, sorry, this is uh, the bounding box is bi is way too big. It will be not really comfortable to work with, and to make it smaller, now we need to uh, select this first, and then add a layer. I mean layer mask and now right click choose apply layer mask so now you can see now it's just this size for the bounding box so you have a more flexible more comfortable control over the transformation now go to this part and now you can modify the shape of this fire you can try in any way you want, it's simply really up to you. Just go ahead and go wild with the fire. So you simply uh, drag just do drag and drag. Okay, I think I'm happy with this result. You may want to experiment with more minutes with this fire. It's really up to you. Well, I think it's uh, it's enough for me. I just want to show you the basic uh, step to uh, modify this fire. You can explore more if you want. I feel this is a bit too hard to cut. I need to erase for a bit. Okay. Things fixed now.
Oh wait a minute, I like to erase this one. It doesn't look tidy for me. Okay, for the next part, I would like to add more highlights of her, this kid. And let's go to layer and name it high light. The screen is, I mean the mode screen, <laughs> sorry for that. And activate this clipping mask, click OK. Alright, now go to brush tool and pick a blue color. I would like a more brighter, okay, a brighter color. Now let's simply paint the edge of this kit. I would like a little more, more smaller brush and very low opacity. I think I'll go to 10%. Now let's just paint. Alright, I think uh, that's it for the light, the highlight. You can see the difference. Okay, as you can see, it's really worth it. It's really making the artwork stand out and the model really stand out. Okay, that's enough for the highlight. Okay, for the next part, I would like to add clouds to complete this uh, uh, composition. Let's add clouds. Okay, you can find this in Divine Art. First, I would like to make it a little bit dark. To fit uh, the, the sense of the our poster. Now, let's move it over here. Wow, no, it looked quite interesting. Maybe we need to be more, need, this cloud need to be more dark. Go to curve, make it more dark. Wow, now that's better. Better looking. Maybe you want to uh, manually adjust the exposure of this cloud. I want this to be dark. I want I use a burn tool and start darkening the some part of this. Maybe I would like to adjust some a little bit more precision over here. Okay, this is a personal preference. Nothing uh, so theoretical. Maybe I would like to add this uh, part a little bit more bright. Oh, sorry, 
I think the one is wrong. I would like the highlight. Okay. So oh, that is quite interesting. And then I would like to uh, adjust the tone of this stormy cloud by using color balance. I would like to make it a little bit more blue to match the overall tone. Well, I think it's it's, uh, it's okay. Okay, for the next part, we will add a custom brush. As you can see in my example here, it really makes the artwork stand out with this uh, some kind of ancient writing. So we're going to add that. We will need a custom brush called the Arcane Circle. You can Google it. By the way, let's create a new layer, rename it to Arcane, use mode uh, screen. Now let's load that brush, I'll already load that. Maybe for example you can replace, you can use Arcane Circle. Okay, I just uh, demonstrate how to do that, to add, I mean to load the brush. Okay, by the way, let's uh, put this brush on here. You can uh, pick any brush that you want to use. Okay, maybe I will go with this brush. Mm, I need to make it smaller. And I would like to rotate this a bit. Let's see. I just don't want to overlap the face. Yeah, I just don't want to disturb his face. Okay, I think it's perfect. Now let's just put this on. Oh, maybe the color. Sorry. Let's uh, use. Okay, I think it's okay with the color. I just put it on. All right, it look very nice. Now let's add more brush. Arcade number two, and we will use another shape. Arcane, I would like more detail. I mean, I would like more uh, something like this. Let's just put it on and then okay, you can just transform to find the center of it. Okay. Now I would like to add to make this kind of uh, interesting wheel. So let's create uh, ellipse tool. I mean ellipse shape. Simply uh, start from here and you hold shift and drag outside. And then you can create one more. Okay, now it looking quite quite nice I think this is not really well aligned between this wheel and this uh, writings you need now to align this layer yeah you hold shift for this three and then uh, with pick tool I mean move tool sorry go to this and this I think is now perfectly aligned I just want to check. Yeah, I think it's perfectly aligned. Maybe this arcane is a bit big. I need to make it a little bit smaller using transform tool. And I use here. Just press an, the arrow down one time. Okay, it's resizing. And it's perfect, I think. Alright, for the final touch, 
you can add the uh, final tone by using color balance this is really a personal you can try many combination of color just uh, play around with uh, this color balance until you find the desired color maybe you want like this or more blue okay it's really up to you Okay, you can uh, spend more time in experimenting with the tone, or with this arcane brush, or maybe with the fire. You can have more time for that, I just uh, give you the idea how to do to create this kind of movie poster. You can also add some text like I did for this artwork. That's for the tutorial, thank you for watching, and see you for the next tutorial, thank you.